All right, folks, it's time to get serious. We're going to have a little chat about surfaces. Okay, in this segment, we're going to talk about how to create a simple surface and how to define it. Okay, so uh, first you're going to have to have some data that's going to be used for your surface. For instance, some points, break lines, uh, 3D polys, whatever you want to use is fine, but you got to have something. Now, creating a surface is two steps. Number one, creating the surface. So in the Prospector tab, I'm going to right click on the Surfaces section and go Create Surface. Uh, notice that there's a couple of other options here to create a surface. I'll talk about those two in another segment. How about? Uh, in this case, I'm just going to create a straight uh, surface. Most times, this is the route you're going to take. So I'm going to go Create Surface. Uh, I've got different types here. I'll talk about different types as well. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do just a uh, standard tin surface triangulated irregular network. I can give my surface a name if I want. Okay, type it in there and give it a description if you like and uh, the default style. Say OK and bingo. There you go. You got yourself a new surface. But guess what? There's nothing there, is it? There's, it's gone. Why? Because I told you guys already it's two parts. Number one, create the surface. Part number two, define the surface. That's right. So in the surface definition, you're going to have to have some kind of existing data to create this surface. Now, in my case, I've got some point groups that are just dying to be in the surface. Oh, yes. They've been waiting for this moment. Now, check it out. I go into point groups, and I got all these different uh, point groups to create surfaces with, and that's why another reason why it's good to create point groups is because not all your points may end up in the surface, right? So you don't want to just have everything dumped in the all points point group. That's not a good idea. So in the surfaces section, I find my name of my surface. I go to the definition section, and then uh, there's point groups. And all I need to do is write, remember, right click, and then say add. Pick the point group I want. Let's go with new topo. Why would I go with old topo when there's new topo? Okay. News better, isn't it? Say OK. And uh, take a look, do a zoom extension. There it is. Behold the surface. OK, now there's other things you can add. You can have multiple objects at the same time. So if I had some break line data, add it in. You got some contour information, add it in. OK, so uh, just remember uh, one thing if you're using point files the original, say, CSV or the ASCII text file, I would probably not recommend doing that because then you have to have a, a live link to the data. It's still, that point file is still stored externally, uh, and the link always has to remain. So a better option is to import the point file into a point group and then use that point group to define said surface. Got it? Okay, well, in my next segment, maybe we'll talk about some styles, okay? But thanks for watching. Ciao!